Guys, what is up? It is your pal Keith here again at Essex Recording Studios just outside London in England. And today we've got a really cool vintage ESP custom shop guitar to share with you guys. All right, just give me a little looky around the studio. We've got Tag from the treatment coming in in about an hour. I'm gonna do some work with him. But for right now, we're gonna talk about this guitar. This is a 1987 ESP The Mirage Custom. It's not a Mirage Custom, it's The Mirage Custom. Fancy. And I really, really dig this guitar. It's uh, it's pearl white, it's aged nicely, has a little bit of a yellow tinge to it, as to be expected on any 30-year-old white guitar. 32 years old. Um, a lot of things I like about this. It's got the traditional ESP Sinclair Floyd Rose. Cool whammy bar. Um, Seymour Duncans with the hot rail pickups in the middle and neck position. You've got the, are they, I don't know if they're acrylic or, or mother of pearl. I'm not quite sure. They look maybe acrylic. Let's zoom in. But the block inlays with ESP at the 12th fret on an ebony fretboard that just looks super, super sleek. And uh, a rare factory mid-range boost. There. Cool. And of course, the, what they call lawsuit style Jackson headstock. I love the old ESPs with the Jackson headstock. It's so cool. Go ahead and spin this bad boy around. All right. And I'll tell you one thing. I'll take out the whammy bar. All right. Put her down gently. Easy does her. Cool. Now, there's your... ESP branded tuners, check that out. In your custom shop serial number, 11049305. Now, how do we know this is a real ESP? Chip on the headstock. <laughs> it's unavoidable, guys. 32 years. Luckily, the wood all looks intact. It's just a little paint chip there. So you could either touch that up or... Um, Leave it the way it is for proof of authenticity. Neck volute, and then nice lines here on the neck through. Even back then, we have the coffin-shaped back plate. Sexy guitar, guys. Really, really sexy. Excellent condition, given the age. You know, for something to survive the 80s, 90s, noughties. That's what they call the early 2000s over here in the UK. And then the, the 2010s and be in this condition, get in focus. Yeah, pretty incredible. It is for sale, of course, like everything on this channel. It's www.essexrecordingstudios.com or on reverb.com. If you just type in 1987 ESP, you'll see it. Or ESP Mirage Custom, you'll see it. I don't know uh, why they went from Mirage to Horizon and what the difference is. Obviously, headstock shapes have changed from the Jackson pointy style we see here to the kind of the inverted version at the top ESP style to, you know, they had the weird uh, Smurf hat headstock, which I hate. And then now they've got another one that's like kind of like the Smurf teardrop thing. Um, that I also dislike, but not as much. This, to me, is the golden era. This is when Metallica was uh, really making a name for this brand. Uh, I think as was Slayer at the time. All the big metal bands were just getting into to ESP and just kicking a lot of ass. So, yeah, guys. Hope this gives you a good idea of what the guitar is like up close and in person. If you want to know anything more, hit me up. And other than that, head on over to our Facebook page, Instagram, Twitter. Follow us there. It's at Essex Recording Studios. And show us some love, baby. All right? More guitar videos coming up right after this. We've got a lot of cool stuff in the next two days, so stick around.